December 2023 statement, Combs responded to the claims in all the lawsuits saying, sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. CNN has reached out to representatives for Combs for comment. Hey, listen, um, yesterday I told all the homies I was going to stay out of everybody's business. You know what I'm saying? I lied. Did he? Did he? I just seen that video. He was a... And I hope... Take that, take that, take that. I hope if whatever happens to you, happens to you. I hope Big Freddy and Debo Eddie strap your down in a penitentiary Betty. And I hope don't nobody come help your mother ass. That shit. Listen, you shit. You know, I, I told him I was going to stay my my business, but I lied. Not only did I lie, right? I'm finna get in everybody business. For the next 48 hours, it's a blitz. I'm going to my war chest. I'm pulling every thing out. And I got some shit. Y'all stay tuned. But Diddy, you did this. You some shit, Diddy. It's going down. It's going down. Tune in to the 100 show. We launch it next week. All independent artists tap in with Love and R&B. Hit them artists. But Diddy, use a bitch. All right, what's up with the YouTube fam? I'm back again with another video. So look, before I move forward into this video, I want to start it off with some positivity. I want to tell all my supporters out there that I do appreciate y'all. And I'm sending y'all nothing but peace, blessings, and prosperous energy our way. And I wish y'all nothing but the best in every aspect of your life. And when I say this, I'm going to talk to my supporters and to those who are reciprocating the same energy back to me and to those who say the same thing back to me in return. But other than that, let's go to move forward into this video with Diddy and Cassie. Now look, I got a short, quick, brief video, but we're going to talk about this situation oh yeah and i do have a ticket sale going on for the weekend again so y'all might want to go down there and get y'all some tickets if y'all want to enter this raffle to go ahead and try to take a chance at winning this 2024 chevy tracks that i'm raffling off june the third i keep on forgetting the goddamn date i can't forget the date june the third so y'all make sure that y'all are here and ready to go ahead and see who the winner will be i will be doing this live so yes june the third but other than that let's go ahead and move forward into this whole casting situation and uh yeah i want to know your thoughts and opinions on it but overall did he do it is the question and it's starting to look like he did do it now i don't like putting accusations on people without bona fide facts but it don't get no blatant than this right here this is actual video footage and i'm not going to show her getting assaulted even though i could i don't choose to do that on my channel it's just a simple fact that i don't like witnessing people get harmed and i like i don't like to really just put that out there like that and it's already out there on the news and things like this so if you want to see her get harmed you can go find that easily but i do have everything else surrounded this whole situation you know as far as like the video footage but ultimately you know they found out that um what she's saying was true about certain incidences basically when um, they were at a hotel he hit her in the eye allegedly and she ran out of that room and he chased her down you know he threw her on the ground kicked her just was tripping man you know and he's lacking emotional intelligence in this situation you know and with him having all of this alleged power that they're saying that he has i can understand her not just leaving because i see a lot of people trying to you know still talk bad about her for staying with him and things like that but people don't be understanding that the the trauma that people go through dealing with these type of situations they do be scared to leave and like i said with all this alleged power people are going to be hesitant to leave a certain person but ultimately you know i hate that he didn't go ahead and be a better man to everybody else that's around him a lot of the things that people are saying do sound outlandish but you can't put everything to the wayside i'm not saying that everything is true but i damn sure ain't saying everything is false especially after seeing this video you know but we don't know what happened to her in the room what caused this incident and things like that but me personally me being a man now versus when i was younger i can definitely say that it was no justification for this not saying i used to beat women and shit like that but my outlook on life was different you know i would think that you know certain shit probably caused him to act this certain type of way but when somebody is getting away from you you're not supposed to be doing nothing to them ultimately you know in my personal opinion but let's go ahead and get into the video we're going to talk about everything and i just want to say that people need to stop victim shaming people for actually going through what they're going through and not knowing how to deal with it at that time but let's go ahead and move forward and watch the video Months later, he can be seen oh, throwing an tripping. He done already Violence. started. Yeah, let's start it back over. All right, let's go. New, sur new surveillance footage obtained exclusively by CNN appears to corroborate some of the allegations of abuse against music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. 
The video, captured on multiple cameras, shows Combs assaulting his then-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, in a hallway at a Los Angeles hotel in March 2016. A lawsuit filed by Ventura in November last year and settled the next day referenced actions that seem to match those seen in this video. There is no audio. According to the complaint, Combs became extremely intoxicated and punched Miss Ventura in the face, giving her a black eye, which according to the lawsuit prompted Ventura to try and leave the hotel room. The surveillance video obtained by CNN begins as she enters the hallway. The complaint says as she exited, Mr. Combs awoke and began screaming at Miss Ventura. He followed her into the hallway of the hotel while yelling at her. The complaint goes on to say he grabbed her and then took glass vases in the hallway and threw them at her. In the surveillance video, Combs can be seen grabbing Ventura and throwing her to the ground. As Ventura lies on the ground, Combs then kicks her twice and attempts to drag her on the floor back to the hotel room. Ventura is seen picking up a hotel phone. Combs seems to walk back to the hotel room, then returns and appears to shove her in a corner. Moments later, he can be seen throwing an object in her direction. According to Ventura's now settled lawsuit, the pair began dating several years after they met in 2005. They parted ways in 2019. Combs' attorney said the decision to settle was in no way an admission of wrongdoing. Ventura declined to comment on the video, but her attorney told CNN the gut-wrenching video has only further confirmed the disturbing and predatory behavior of Mr. Combs. Words cannot express the courage and fortitude that Ms. Ventura has shown in coming forward to bring this to light. The video hasn't been seen publicly before and comes on the heels of a series of civil lawsuits alleging Combs' involvement in sex trafficking and sexual abuse. Allegations Combs has repeatedly denied. In a December 2023 statement, Combs responded to the claims in all the lawsuits saying, sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear, I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. CNN has reached out to representatives for Combs for comment. See, that's why you got to be quiet, man. You got to hush until everything comes out. Because you don't know what the hell people got against you. Really, first of all, hold on, let me retract this statement before I get there. You shouldn't be doing this in the first place, but ultimately, you know, I feel like that with him doing this, man, it's just his cosmic karma, his universal law. It was just meant for this to come back around on him, you know. And I really, really, you know, was kind of like feeling like he didn't do every single thing, but it made me question a lot of different things. But I'm not going to sit here and just, you know, like ride for you and say certain shit when certain shit coming out i gotta keep it all the way 100 you know i got a mama i got a daughter i would refuse i would hate boy i would be spazzing out of something happen like this to my mom and them you know what i'm saying and my daughter so i can understand the outrage that her family probably has and everybody else that's around her you know these people out here these days men they are uh wolves in sheep's clothing you know he has probably changed over the time but you know back then a lot of things that people were saying do seem like they might be true do y'all feel like that he's guilty of everything that they're saying? Ultimately, I don't say what I had to say about this situation. Y'all done seen the video footage. I hate that she went through this. And I feel like it was a very, very dumb mistake of him to not go ahead and pay her before she made certain, you know, uh, court filings and things like that. Before she just went and exposed everything. You know, I feel like that, you know, you got to put your pride to the side and understand that sometimes you got to take accountability for what you have done and man up to the circumstances of your own actions. But overall, I don't see what I have to say. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this whole situation. And I will holler at y'all later on another video. All right.